will be without Coach Chico Manabat as it's just to for them is to give their best and just continue playing. This is already the third or fourth coaching change of Quezon City this season. Of course, they started this month and then Coach Chico Manabat came on board and now Coach Martin Go assumes head coaching duties para sa Quezon City oh. as Flores gets them to a good start. Especially you know that you're struggling and the changes keeps happening. So, alam mo naman eh, uh, yo, intermittent yung uh, nature nitong uh, basketball pero sana may something steady. To be Quezon City basketball as we look at this three-point shot by Kojak Melegrito. The blue shirts off to a relatively good start. Oh, oh and uh, you know, siguro nandun pa rin yung pinag-usapan natin na uh, they're gonna ride on that Lucito uh, the action. Michael Alvarez getting a bucket from short range. He won player of the game honors a couple of games back para sa kanila in that victory. What that specific vision that Coach Rich Alvarez actually had for this Gentan team when he took over from Coach Noy Pido. A miss from the outside by John Wilson has it scored from this three. Itong si Larry Rodriguez, Jervy Cruz, and John Wilson. Flores fakes the pass and gets the basket. Siano really played well in their last game. And you know, one thing, one thing that I appreciate with this guy is yung effort niya to, yung, uh, to capitalize mismatches. So later on, makikita natin yan. 12 to 7, 5 point lead para dito sa Quezon City. Can't remember the last time that Quezon City was up. Kaya tayo mas lalong in lineup na talagang hindi na nagalaw eh. Uh, that core of Andre Flores, Luis Pedrosa, BJ Rodriguez. And there you go. The outside shot coming from one of the best who has ever donned the jersey here in the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. That one. Rodriguez with the offensive rebound. John this time takes it inside on the cut. Ready to check back in in the next dead ball para dito sa Jensen Warriors. Kojak Melegrito, two-man game with Kim Lo. One dribble. Oh, off the glass. Kim Lo him to take back the driver's seat. Santos is asking for it. He gets it, fakes out Paharito. This time he makes sure he gets the basket. And so far, does it seem like they're venting their ire here on Quezon City because it's a Todd Action Refresh who's up by one at this point. One is for them to get back their confidence. Kasi alam mo, kalaban mo susunod yung neighboring province mo na Sambuanga Families Brand Sardines who really... Oh, they really dominated the cagers yesterday talking about Zamboanga. Uh, Lina tried to go back door. Santos really aggressive here. Para sa first first quarter pa lang, he already passed his uh, season averages. At nakita mo coach yung last game nila against Batan. He was really shackled by the frontline defenders of the right Bounce. Better ball movement, a lot of communication, and right defense daw ang kailangan to control the Coach Martin still remains positive dahil sabi nga niya, at the end of the day, bilog ang ball. Lucky you guys. Thank you so much, Andre. Well, so far, but they are in the lead. Kaso nga lang, they gave up the ball here. And Pajarito, missing an easy basket as you look at the first quarter field. Goal. Turnovers uh, right from the first quarter. Pero, eto na, dalawang sunod na naman. Disruptive when they implement that full court pressure defense. Oh, uh, and you know what makes this uh, trio special? Both, all three can defend and almost automatic just rims out and Johosson failing to finish, getting his own miss. Third serving for Jensen, Derby Cruz finally connects. Uh, 25 to 23, BJ Lina. Oh, that's block. He's been trying to see Johosson on the right corner. Enzo in and out. Again, the offensive rebounding for Jensen. And, and look at Nico Elorde feeding his big man down low. Jervy Cruz getting another bucket to Batangas. So far, it's 27 to 23, four point lead for Jensen. And Elorde looking to continue the scoring run by the Warriors as he converts. And it's the scoring sprints. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we, you mentioned uh, okay. Uh, Bagit sa to, parang bumabata si Jervy oh, sa pagtakbo niya. 12 to 3 is the run here by Jensen, stopped by 27 against Bataan in a game that was mired by a lot of fouls throughout the game. 
or Beta once again on the second chance. Lateral movement and just his overall athleticism definitely makes him a tough cover on defense. But I think Elorde has constantly sa laro na to. May Hopper Mondragon ka pa. May Christian Parito at Mark Ruiz ka pa. Oo. Just like that. Kanina, it was Quezon City who was doing a good job of maintaining the advantage. But here they are trying to trim this back. That's a score by Melegrito. Wilson hit a three in the first quarter. This is his first conversion from the outside here in the second period. A zone here for Quezon City. Jensen forced to swing the ball around. Back to John Wilson. You don't want to get that man going. Oh, and, it, and talking about... Si John pwede yan quick release, pwede yan slow release eh. Oh, oh. iba-iba eh. Kaya ang hirap niya depensan eh. Tapos yung tira niya sa likod. 43-31. Poson downhill. Leaves it for Sorella. Hop inside the lane. Gathers and scores. Have nine more left. Wilson pulls up from the free throw line. Rattles that one down. He's broken the 30-point barrier twice already this season. Cruz getting a three-pointer from the right corner and Enriquez, Andre Flores, Kojak Melegrito, and Kim Lo starting. That will make everybody look good. And if you have a scorer like John Wilson, alam mo yun, mas gagaling pa itong si uh, Nico Lorde kasi may receiver siya outside. Melegrito with six on the shot clock. Enriquez steps back. Three-pointer is down and through for Martin Enriquez. Oh, great setup. Flores almost had that pass taken away. Enriquez wants it again. Splits the defense, fakes the pass, kisses it off the glass. Then Andre Flores. Wilson, three for three. That's good. Never, ever leave a guy like John Wilson. 16 points in the game. Para kay Wilson Alvarez, this time very active in the first period. Trying to continue his great scoring run in this game. Look the game award. Oh, and... Sa akin, ang ganda ng nilalaro ni uh, Michael Alvarez right now in terms of scoring. Pero, it's just a testament how this, itong coach nila na si uh, Rich Alvarez. Alam mo yun, dito lumalabas. Kaya papaano nila sinusuportahan itong little brother ng kanil. A trio of Santos, Sumalaka, and Lina will now check in para sa Quezon City. But there you see another easy basket for Alvarez. Yung maturity niya sa game, kung kailan niya gagamitin yun. Wilson, top of the circle three. That is through para kay John Wilson. Oh, and the second, and the, ito yung sinasabi natin, Javi, na once na mag-mature pa yan. Well, talking about maturity, Martin Enriquez. Maraming setup sa low, sa low po si uh, Larry Rodriguez at maraming ring setup din si Nico Elorde para sa kahit sino kalaban. He continues to age like fine wine, as they would like to say. And there you see one of his three-point bombs the past few possessions. Yes, the City has struggled to play defense against Jensen here in the second half. Benavides will try his luck from the outside. That is down para kay John Benavides. Oh, oh and uh, with you see Todo action right here. You see the three-pointer by John Benavides, former LSM stalwart. Moving on over to Boss, Sir Sedel Tupa, a media officer ng Kapunan na yon, for winning their game in the World Cup against New Zealand. Won his first appearance in the World Cup for our women's national team. Yeah, imagine in their first game, kung hindi nat, kung natawag ng tama sa na yon. Oh, baka iba yung story, iba pa yung story, mas maganda pa yung story ng campaign ng, foot, ng uh, women's football natin do sa World Cup. Eh making her story itong Philippine women's so Jensen has remained firm Cruz scoop shot could have get the basket but to, fee, to, um, to, to do that 
Cruz missing on his first first assistant, Coach Vis Valencia. This year's campaign, four seconds left. Lina beats the buzzer with a three-point shot from the left wing. Uh, at least for all the woes of Quezon City here. Tung QC to the action in this quarter, in this game. They scored 20 in the first period and this Siguro one positive lang na pwede mong tignan doon in that in that match up on August 2 will be different about them shooting in this game. Hindi na masyadong pigilan no coach. Oo, alam mo yun kasi mas okay na yung, mas mas okay na yung tumira. Oson scanning the floor onto the other side. Cruz finally gets a three pointer. Oo, hands on Mark uh, uh, Jensen Warriors na alam naman natin. They really too much because Third for a reason, number three in the standings in the Southern Division. Ang naitatala niya. Oh, oh, and you can see it. Dun sa reaction sa bench nila na talo. Here he is with another three-pointer on the way. A preco with the offensive rebound and the easy finish. During the halftime interview of Andrea, sa team manager ng Jensa na si Sir Merman Flores back into this game. Berge has checked back in here for Coach Martin Gopedrosa. Swisses one more through. I don't know. Jesus, kailangan niya lang ituloy yan eh. This three, itong si Flores. Gojak is all is consistent. Enriquez, consistent double figures sa sila in terms of scoring eh. And like that guy, consistent na 30-point game after as well. As John Arbeta are back on the floor here. Landicho, first appearance in this game. Puts back his own miss. Big and you have your bench players coming on. You definitely will be cheering for them. As Flores, Venezuela, and at 8 o'clock p.m., it's going to be the Serengani Marlins trying to snap their four-game losing streak against... Oh, that's the 16th three-pointer in itong uh, Jensen Warriors. And they're shooting a report. Yung efficiency nila mas mataas na. Landicho leaves it for Arbeta, gets it back. Kasi yung hindi man ito nabibigyan ng mahabang playing time palagi. But alam mo, at the back of her...